In this video, I'll introduce you to navigating around the Canvas Studio app and some of the things you can do with it, as well as dealing with uh, when you might have to use your browser to access Canvas. In my courses in MS150, we do use Google Sheets, Slides, and Zoom, as can be seen in the first row. You will, If you're in MS150 Statistics, you'll want those three apps on your phone. They're available for Android and iOS. The second row are, is SC130 Physical Science. There we use Desmos and Docs to get our work done. Now one of the things you'll need to do uh, if you're on an Android phone, as I am, before you'll want to be able to work in the class, uh, in Android you'll need to go into your settings down here and in settings, scroll down to Google. This is on Android. Um, your Google account. And click on your name where it says D, Dana Leland. Click on that. And this will appear. This lets you add another account. I've added the G Suite for Education account. You can see it there. I've already added it. But you'll need to add yours. These are the ones that say comfsm.edu.fm. These are actually Google accounts, and they are the way we log into our Canvas accounts. On Android, everything will work better if you have both accounts installed here in your settings. Uh, on iOS, you can install a second Google account, I believe from things like uh, your, your settings available to you in, in, uh, in any of the Google apps you can get back to an account screen. Uh, whether there's another way to do it, I'm not certain. But you'll want to do this first. This is in settings of your Android phone. So with that done, set that up first. Then you should go ahead and look for and install the Canvas Student app, which I've already done here. You can then open it. It'll open like this, and you'll need to find my school. So the easy way to find the school is to type, and you might have to type the whole thing the first time, comfsm.instructure. You can see it's already appearing, but that may be being pulled up from a cache. I'm not sure. If, if need be, you can type the whole thing. That will certainly pull up the school. And you tap on College of Micronesia, the second, this, this line down here, you tap on that. Then you put in, the account you put in here is that new account that I just spoke about, that account there. That's, you must use your comfsm.edu.fm account. Enter your password for that account. If you need help with that part of the process, reach out to me in a, a private email. you may get a similar message work your way through whatever messages you get uh, uh, you will see messages if you get something unusual get a screenshot and get it sent to me so I can take a look at it see what's going on and if need be send that on to IT you will sometimes get messages like that. Sometimes the messages will appear. I'd wait a couple seconds uh, if there's nothing to nothing to press. Sometimes it's just a what we call an interstitial message as it relays across. Um, one of the things is uh, is that uh, Canvas wouldn't expect me to be logging in as a student and I'm using Canvas student here. There's uh, classes you probably won't see as many and you may see a course called Passport to Canvas and Passport to Canvas is a good introduction to Canvas. Uh, I have Growing with Canvas. That's what the instructors use to learn to use Canvas. You have Passport to Canvas, and you can use that to start to learn your way around. Some of the key things is uh, you do have a hamburger menu, which lets you get it at uh, things particular to you. Across the bottom, you'll have uh, these icons. You've got a dashboard. You've got your calendar here. 
to show you what's coming up. Uh, I don't have any events scheduled for today, but uh, uh, possibly because I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a student, I don't have anything on my student calendar. Uh, you will have something to do on yours. These are my to-do lists, actually, things that have come in that will need grading and attention. You'll see things that you have to submit and assign, etc. So that gets you into Canvas. There's notifications in here, things that have come up, and uh, uh, an inbox over here with messages that have come in from the inbox. So you'll be able to go through all of those as well and see those different things. Uh, to get into a course, simply go into the course, and you can you can see the, everything here, uh, your announcements. The modules is an important screen. The module shows you um, what's coming up and what you'll be looking at once. You can see here, I've got um, uh, the core. You can fold them up and open them. This little white circle opens and folds them, and it tells you down below this is introductory material but down below you'll see there's dates on which you start certain material due dates for other material all of that the modules is a really useful place to go to when you're inside a course it's also announcements there's a syllabus to help you orient yourself to the syllabus uh, syllabus has a summary that summary section includes upcoming assignments mine has things that you won't see they're not published yet because I'm still setting them up. Uh, you can take a look at assignments, which will tell you what assignments are coming up for you. Uh, you've got grades, people in the course, pages. If you click on pages, you can see the front page to the statistics course itself here. Uh, works rather nicely. So you can work with it. And for many assignments, you can do the assignments. But and this is in MS-150 statistics. You'll have some difficulty uh, trying to actually submit these assignments from uh, from here uh, because, as it says, it's in an external tool at the bottom. And so you may or may not be able to do that from here. What you may find is that you're unable to, I don't know, you'll have to check and see. Um, And you'll notice, this is why I put my Google account in my settings. You'll have to do a lot of this sorting out yourself. As you get different screens, your screens may look different. Read them carefully, take a look at what they're telling you. I'm in the wrong Gmail account for my, my Canvas. So that's why I put this in Google. I've got that second account in there now, and I can use that to get at my Google assignments. And... You may find that you can't access Google Assignments from from here. I find that I can access Google Assignments from here on the bottom. But I'm in the teacher mode, and I, I cannot uh, determine whether or not you can get to the assignments from here. I'm not currently in the student mode. So that's something to, to bear in mind. I'm in the teacher mode. But if you do click on an assignment, it may or may not uh, directly open for you. My suggestion would be in that case that you may want to go back and use the, uh, the browser and log into it. And so I'm not going to navigate further through here too much. Um, it'll get complicated uh, to work with. Because I'm really, I'm sitting in the, in the teacher mode up here, even though it says Canvas student realizes that I'm a teacher in the system. Um, so um, let's have a look here. Uh, you want to go to um, comfsm.instructure.com dashboard. I'm in the browser. This will work too. This is another way to get at it. And I found there are times when I couldn't do certain things from the app. And Canvas is very browser friendly. There's my complete dashboard. Uh, for a course, let me go ahead and go into a course. 
like I, I must do the same MS-150 statistics course here. To get at the different parts of the course, this hamburger menu will have, um, so sorry, this, this three dot, uh, this down, the down V, I'm getting used to it too. Poke around, see what you see, you can't break it, not as far as I know. So this little down V in the upper right corner opens up that same menu of modules, syllabus, assignments. You won't see all of those because some of them are simply not yet activated in the course. There's a home page. So one of the key places to go to is to modules. I like to go to modules because it shows you the layout of the course and it shows you the videos and the dates. So this is the browser view of the modules. Uh, this is, is, as you can see, mobile friendly. Mine looks so different than yours because I can I can edit it. It knows I'm a teacher and it's letting me add modules and do things in the course. But the modules are there. And so I can get at an assignment. I can open up an assignment. Uh, and in this case, it'll be in the, it's a video. It takes me to a video. So I can come back to the modules. Uh, let's take a look at, at, at an assignment itself. There's a 1.1. I'm waiting because the Google assignment screen will again show up and I can go ahead and get at some of these things from here uh, but I'm going to have to navigate through <clears throat> let's try something down here in uh, 2.1 homework I'm going to have to uh, to edit it I'll probably have to go into this little box it's showing up down here Let's have a look at this. Uh, we'll come come down here somewhere and click on a person. And you may find this little panel on the right can be slid over. And there's the uh, the spreadsheet itself is static. I'm tapping on it, but I can't do anything in it. Put it back on the right side, about halfway up. There's a little box, just blink there, that one. That will open this up outside of. I've got it again, this I did it in settings, so I'm going to tell it to him fsm.edu, and I'm going to go into that account. Into that account. Uh, what I'm now, what I did is. It's opening it in my Google Sheets app. And that's where I want to be on a mobile device. I want to be in my Google Sheets app. You may be able to get to it from the from the Canvas student app. I remember I've just gotten to it through the browser. I think you can do it either way, maybe. But I have had trouble getting to it from the Canvas student app. That hasn't always worked for me. It is sometimes giving me an, an error saying it can't open that, that assignment. So if that fails, you might try using the browser as I've done. And now you, this is an editable Google Sheets document that you can use. When you enter, when you enter answers, make sure you tap out of the last cell, that last one. If you don't tap out, it doesn't enter it. And when you're done, you click check. Now you'll notice I'm not back in Canvas when I click check. In order to do that, to get back to where I was uh, if I click this well that worked this time sometimes it doesn't work and I have to go and change screens here to get back to the right place this time that worked well again you'll have to poke around and explore this brave new world that we're in so that notice at the top for example well, I haven't gotten back to, actually to Canvas. I haven't gotten back yet to Canvas. So that's where I've got to switch screens. Canvas is back here. So I'm using a screen switch to move between the two to get back from Chrome to Canvas. And that's what I was talking about. You'll probably have to come back into Canvas to click on a submit button somewhere, possibly. I'm, I'm pretty certain of it. Again, explore uh, and see what you find out. Poke around, see what you can do.
So I'd start by playing with the Canvas Student app. That's going to work particularly well, I think, in, in um, physical science, where you can upload a document uh, that you can pull from Google Docs, I believe. You'll be able to see that. Let's go have a look at SC130, physical science, modules. The... Uh, this laboratory report here, density of soap. Yield, it's set to be, this one's set to be file upload. This works different than uh, MS-150. And so it's set to be a file upload. That's the submission type. And uh, let me see if I can, uh, yeah, I can't, if I click on submit, you can see I can do file upload. And then I can choose a file either from my camera, my gallery, or my device. Uh, if I choose it from my device, which is probably the way I want to do it, I'll have to have a file somewhere on there. But you'll see my drive is across the top, including my COMFSM drive, which uh, I can then get into, navigate my way through to my physical science folder. I set this up before. And there's my bar of soap lab. So if I were to click on, on that and select it, I could upload that uh, potentially to the to the drive. Here you'll see it's grayed out. I apparently can't select this one here, but again, I'm not a student, I'm a teacher. So I'm, I don't know what, your mileage may vary. Explore and see. I can upload this PDF. So it might be that it has to be a PDF on my drive. But I could save a PDF to my drive from my Google Docs. I could also save the file to my phone uh, if I want to do that. Remember, I've got Docs on my machine here. And so I can open up my document that I've got and I can save that to my uh, downloads area of my phone and then upload it back into, uh, into the Canvas from there. So as you see, it's put me back to my dashboard anyway. Here I'm going through assignments, another way to get to, to these things, back to the lab report. So you have some different options on your phone, and you can use Docs. If you're working with Docs here on the main Docs screen, you can always download a copy over here. And so you can download it to your to your phone. You can even save it as a Word document if you wanted to. And then you can upload it from your phone. A bit clumsy. You may find a better way to do it. You may find you can cross-load things straight from your Google Drive. Uh, experiment around. You may find things that work different than I do. But you can do a lot of things on your phone. I believe you can do uh, a good a good bit of it. Uh, this, this stuff on your phone. On my, uh, as I gain more experience with it. I'll be able to tell you more about what you can do with your phone to navigate through these courses and to 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 work with the to, to actually do your work on your phone. Now again, if you have a laptop, use your laptop uh, for these courses. It's going to be easier. Uh, really, the, the the laptop has you got a got a trackpad and other things, and you'll have more capabilities, I suspect, on your laptop. But for, for a phone, a phone will work if that's all you've got. Uh, if it's a, a modern phone with a, a fast enough processor, you'll be able to move around and do these same things that I'm doing. That's a bit of a, a rough introduction to Canvas and these two courses, Statistics and Physical Science. Uh, and as always, if you've got questions, reach out, let me know. Uh, what, what challenges you're facing.